and let's talk about one of the most interesting concept which is administrative distance and one of the most confused one also because many people confuse this with uh, confused this with longest prefixes right what is the meaning of it right so just leave about the term which i have just mentioned longest longer prefixes let's talk about what we have right now right this topology has been used in many many uh, boards so you must be aware of it okay now the question is what i want to showcase you in this board we have a router one right here right the big one the blue router it's zero slash one interface is connected to green network and if i go and see that green network it is having 10.10.10.0 slash 24 network and i made sure that i have configured the very first ip address of this subnet which is dot one if i'm writing dot one what is the meaning the meaning is 10.10.10.1 right and i have configured that on fa zero slash one interface as simple as that right secondly i have another interface which is connected from this r1 to r2 and i have configured this guy here no problems right but let's talk about in terms of route if we talk in terms of route then i have given another route which says IP route 10.10.10.0/24 can be reachable over FA0/2 interface with this next stop and believe me this route and this route both are same you must be wondering that Vishnu why you are specifying the same route in steric routing also and we all know that the route is the connected one right I have connected the same route over the zero slash one interface and then you are guiding the router that mr router if you want to reach out to this network go over fa zero slash two interface right what exactly you want to do here you are actually confusing or making uh, you want this router to be confused right because you are saying that uh, you are you have configured an IP address over zero slash one, and router will think that this this network is connected over zero slash one interface. But at another point of time, you are saying to reach this router, you have to go over this interface. Believe me, such experiments you should do. It is going to increase your knowledge, right? you are making this router confused about where this route actually is and on top of it let's talk about this green uh, sorry this orange sub network also this orange sub network is exactly the same thing right 10.10.10.0 slash 24 which is connected to this r2 and now suppose this r1 and r2 are talking over a particular language also which is OSPF and why they are talking over OSPF? The reason is they want to share this route. Which route? 10.10.10.0, right? Because R1 and R2 now knows a common language which is OSPF, R2 can inform router 1 that Mr. Router 1, I know how to reach 10.10.10.0. Now just think about the situation of this router one router one is learning 10.10.10.0 24 from three sources from three different sources right the first source is the connected route which is connected over its zero slash one interface right as simple as that the second source is through static routing which you have manually configured inside the 
inside this router and there you are saying you can you can reach to this route the same route over 0 slash 2 interface and at last you are learning the same route over the OSPF because R1 and R2 are talking over OSPF and R2 just informed R1 that you can learn the same route from me means via R2 it is as simple as that or over the 0 slash 2 interface and I am going to be your next stop what is going what is going to happen guys how this routing table of R1 is going to means what exactly going to happen with this R1 right routing table what route should go into this routing table so the problem is this one right we are learning again I am writing down this thing we are learning 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 0 slash 24 from three different sources connected route static routes and through OSPF or through dynamic routing which route is going to go into this route table right if this is the case I'm learning the same route from three different sources or four different sources we assign a number right why number because we want to know we want to break the tie because we are learning the same route which should go into the routing table right so we assign a number to different sources and I have assigned a number to connected route which is zero right it means that it doesn't matter what the route is if the route is the connected route then there is a number associated with it which is zero and this number is actually the preference number the lower this number is the more preferred the route is right suppose the second number is static route right suppose the second uh, source is a static route and we have assigned another number to it which is one the last one is OSPF and I have assigned another number which is 110 and guys this number is actually known as admin distance or administrative distance value from now on I am going to call it AD right and your mind should process that I am talking about administrative distance it is as simple as that right so different sources are going to be having different administrative distance value the lower the administrative distance value the most preferred the route it is as simple as that right so out of these three which route should go into the routing table is dependent on the AD value because we are talking about the same route from three different sources and as you can see the connected route here is having the lowest AD value or administrative distance value this route is going to be there inside this routing table right so I am writing here connected route which is going to say 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 0 slash 24 can be reachable via FA 0 slash 1 simple right but suppose what is going to happen if this route is somebody somebody log into this router and shut this interface down interesting right if that is the case then basically there is no point that we don't have this green network we are going to install another route which is steric route right because it is having the preference one which says 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24 can be reached over fa0 slash 2 right and I'm writing here s because now this connected route is not there because somebody has shut this interface down fa0 slash 1 right suppose you have removed this statement also then you can say you have route from OSPF right 
which you are learning from router R2. And here you are going to say 10.10.10.0/24. Can be reachable via R2, and this route is OSPF. I am writing down OSC, right? So of course, routing table know the presence of all these. So, sorry, the, the the control plane or this router knows that there is a control uh, and there is a connected route. There is a static route. There is an OSPF route. It is going to check which is up and running, right? Suppose all these interfaces are up and running, then only connected route is going to be there in the routing table. If connected route goes down, maybe static route is going to come into picture. And if these two are down, then only OSPF route is going to be there in the routing table. And where, on what basis we are defining it, we are we are deciding which route should go into the routing table on the basis of administrative distance guys because at the end of the day this route is same but the sources are different and if that is the case right and suppose now instead of OSPF you are running say EIGRP right or maybe I can say just leave about this here on this interface you are learning you are running EIGRP and somebody is sending about this information over uh, if this information means this round information 10.10.0 slash 24 is learned over the EIGRP also. Interesting, right? Now there are two dynamic source of this uh, for this route. One is via OSPF, one is via EIGRP. Then we need to decide from EIGRP or OSPF which route should go into this routing table. Then straight away. You should ask me what is the administrative distance value of EIGRP, which is 90 for internal routes. And I'm presuming this is going to be my internal route. If you do not know about EIGRP, that is perfectly fine. But you understand right now R1, R2 are speaking over OSPF, which is the common language between them. But I can say that R1 can speak to another router, maybe here, maybe R R5, over another language, which is EIGRP, and can learn the same route from there also. And if that is the case, you should understand that there is a AD value for EIGRP also, which is 90. And if that is the case, which route should go into the routing table, OSPF or EIGRP? Of course, EIGRP, because it is having the lower administrative distance value. It is as simple as that, right? Interesting, right? Now here we are more concerned about filling out the routing table that if we have the same network from different sources, guys, believe me, I am repeating this statement so that it should go into your mind again and again that if the network is same, if the sources are different, then we have to choose the route, which route should go into the routing table. And it is decided on the basis of administrative distance, right? And you can understand why the connected route number is so low here, which is absolutely zero. There is no way any other route can win from this. And it should be like this. And the reason is, if you have a router, if you have a connected interface into a particular network, right? You should give this preference because you are the one who is saying, who is configured the IP address dot one here of from the subnet 10.10.10.0 slash 24. It means that you are specifically saying router knows that this network is directly connected to me, right? And suppose if somebody else is saying, if, if router R2 is saying this network is with me, right? You are not going to believe that. Because you know this is already connected to me, right? I'm not going to believe R2 that this is connected to him. And this basically he is just saying me that this route, this, this network is connected to me. I'm going to believe myself because I know, absolutely I know that this is connected to me. And that is why the connected route zero, sorry, connected route 80 value is zero. It's as simple as that. If we talk about static route, right? You have configured it. And of course, router has to uh, uh, find it between that what is connect directly connected to me or whatever you are specifying to it. 
and of course we have to give the number that is why i am giving connected route zero static route just one more than that so that we can break this tie it is as simple as that right i would like to take a pause guys here if you are if if you are uh, if you have any questions any doubt on this board please do ask